What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, J Sneaker Squad, man. Y'all been missing your boy, and I got my creatine right here. We about to go on the Ghost Gym and put in this Dub Fitness workout, man. Um, but got a uh, fruit punch flavor. My boy JR recommended this for me. Uh, my trainer Johnny Fitness said it's the best thing to do. So we about to make a salt one right now, creatine. And then go get my pump on with Johnny Fitness. Me and Johnny Fitness about to go in this Ghost uh, Gym and put in Dub work, Dub work Out Fitness. So I'm getting ready to put my pump on with Johnny Fitness. Um. About to get crunk on my creatine for my pump of the day. Some more water in there. Water is good for you, H2O. So, um, if I can get it, JR says all I need is one scoop. It's a big one, creatine. So one scoop full of this bad boy. Damn, that's a big ass one. One scoop full of creatine. Let's check it out. All right. We'll find out how I feel afterwards. Fruit punch flavor. Get my lid on. And start shaking all right let's get this workout on it is weight training day with johnny fitness we about to get our dove dub on baby let's get them gains 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 i'm ready to get my pump on boy let's go johnny fitness j sneak squad let's get the dub So, shoulder delt, Johnny's working on right here. In the back, up top of your toes on the strength. You gotta do four sets, how many sets are we doing? Uh, four sets of 15. Four sets of 15 to pull back your shoulder muscle delt. Johnny's showing you the first one. Later on, he'll go me and show you how I do my seat. Works your chest, you're working your chest, your back shoulders, and, and working your back muscles. You can see, table string. Your weight. Uh, Johnny Fitness doing the arm and your shoulders. It's harder and it's better than nice to do a, 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 a belt, kettlebell. Or Kind of both we can do also a free weight more easier. But we're using the table core today, much harder with the table core. But it's supposed to be working your your, your arms. There you are Johnny. I was using the table core to keep it straight. It's hard because you, you don't want to fight back the weight as it pulls you back. You want to try to keep your arms straight as you go up and work those muscles, you know. But Johnny's doing this table core. I'll do my set. We're doing set to ten. Four rows, four sets of ten, four sets of ten. This is our second set. Keeping the arms straight. Johnny Fitness. There you go, man. There you go, Dan putting it up. Johnny Fitness, shoulder shrugging. On 245. I did 345, right? I'm gonna try to do a new record and go with four. So, we'll see if I can do the four. Okay, the chest. Johnny swings his arms out like before. He's going to light A 45. Yeah. Alright guys, so you already know uh the delts and traps had a great day. It got pretty packed pretty fast. Um we did of course the front delts, three sets of 12. We even tried to up it up to the three sets of 15. We did the sides. It took a long time to get the back the back delts because uh you never want to ne ne neglect that. But then again, uh doesn't matter even if you're driving 15 pounds you know even 10 pounds you know what i mean uh, it's a very small muscle but it is a muscle that you want that 3d effect 
and you want to make sure you do hit it because people lack the fact that they always worry about the fronts they always worry about the sides but no one ever remembers about the back and don't forget at the end of the day after you're tired uh don't forget the good trap machine you know uh traps is good if you, can, if you have a machine that you can do two arms at the same time or one simultaneously do that you mean grab yourself a 35 pound weight it doesn't have to be heavy it really does a lot of people come to um a conclusion for the fact that oh i'm gonna grab like 60 pounds and then shrug it out that's nice and all that you know what i mean but if you're not doing it properly right you're not getting the full shrug and uh the amount of reps that you should be hitting are you not meeting your goal then you know what i mean just bring down that weight it's totally fine you know we all gotta start somewhere and then you're building up to your pyramid you're gonna get to where you want to be but at the same time make sure that uh everything's right from the weight to how your form is and another thing too is uh don't roll your don't roll your uh, your shoulders because you'll mess up and you'll be like me and you'll have a rotator cuff problem in the future it, it makes it horrible uh, it's more lack of uh, knowledge and for the fact of thinking that you can do it either way or I'll, I'll muscle it I'm not gonna let this bother me you know what I mean it's a it's really pretty much an ego thing don't let the ego come or uh, arm injury because I have an arm injury that I'm trying to battle and I've been trying to recuperate it back then I'm sort of by little bringing the strength back up in this elbow but it's still times where it gets stiff and it hurts and it bothers so you don't want to go like i said don't go think you can overlift heavy something and try to go crazy because you're gonna end yourself even worse than you think yeah. but every just go even if it's smaller weight and you're not trying to compete with anybody else you're just competing with yourself but you're slowly recuperating that muscle to build it back up so it can be strong again yep so remember just let the ego go and build up build up yourself you know you're, you're not don't have to match yourself to somebody else's weight mm -hmm. uh but then again you can match yourself in oh look uh, he, he's still going i'm still going you know what i mean that's cool and all that you know I mean because it gives you a, uh like it makes it com competitive but remember stay in your own lane and compete with yourself compete no with yourself and nobody else yeah, because you're better than yourself and you're yeah and you're you know yourself I mean? than better than yesterday and we're all here to come to the gym to, to be better better people better Healthy individuals of, of our ego and uh i'm not uh, letting go of the ego and just trying we're to master having a great too. time this, this is supposed to be a therapeutic place uh -huh. not a place where you get hurt or, or injured, so or, you're or, trying to be better. Yeah, so, but y'all have a great night. Y'all stay good. Love you guys. Thank you, man. Brother. Always a good one, man. Peace right, to meet you. you. Thank you. God bless you, brother. Later, brother. What up? What up? YouTube, it's your boy, J Sneaker Squad, man. We back at it again. Right after the workout video, I promised you guys, me and my boy, J my boy, shout out to my boy, J Johnny Fitness, for coming through, man. Making it big, coming out big for my my cousin Johnny Finnis, coming out big for his uh, cousin Jay, uh, Jay Snicker Squad. Man, I really do appreciate it. We went out to the gym today. We put in a big dub fitness workout. We didn't film the whole workout from beginning to end. We filmed parts of our lifting, of, of us lifting in the gym for the workout for you guys to see. Uh, we couldn't film too much of it because some of the guys were, were like, people were freaking out when they're looking at us, like filming in the gym. And we don't want them to think that we're filming them. We're filming just us work our, and our workout. So we couldn't film fully all of it, but we've got parts of it. And you'll see in the video, it's parts of the workout from beginning to start of what we did. And what and Johnny explains to you at the end, the parts of the body we worked out and how he normally breaks it down to y'all. It was fun to get a good work, a video, a video pretty much up for you guys. Um, before I start getting into what's I'm here to talk about the ending of the, the ending of the video and the reason why I haven't been on YouTube lately, um, it's it's I want to say thank you again, Johnny Fitness, for my cousin. He's really my cousin, and it's his YouTube name and Instagram name is Johnny Fitness because my cousin stays fit and he keeps me helps me to stay fit and get cut too. So that's Johnny Fitness, my cousin and me putting in work every day to stay fitness and support your team, man. Go support, go support my team. If you are goals membership, if you are a goal, a goals membership, have a pass right now and you're working at goals and, and do what you can to stay fit at goals. And if I see you at goals by, by Calabra, you are, you're supporting my team. I want to say thank you. But if you're not supporting this team, I don't know what's the matter with you. Go cop a shirt, go into the sign up with them right now and get the $30 plan or the $39 plan or the 42 goals member black pass membership. And you can go ahead and be a goals man membership too and stay fit like your boy J Snicker Squad or Johnny Fitness because your boy J Snicker Squad and Johnny Fitness are goals membership black pass. <laughs> but um, I want to say thank you for Goals Gym for all shout out to Goals Gym for all the love and support and for letting us film in there today and doing what we need to do to get this video out and up for you guys today how we wanted to. 
um, back on to the grind of what I, the reason why I haven't been filming, I want to, first of all, deep down from the bottom of my heart, I want to apologize to the J Sneaker Squad family, chan uh, family subscribers. I haven't been filming lately. I've been going through a tough time in my life right now where it's really kind of hard because, um, if you guys have not noticed, you don't hear no noise in my house. It's really quiet. Um, my sister, my older sister, who I'm really close to, is like a mother to me. Uh, she ended up moving out with her family and her husband. Uh, my nephews are getting older. You know, it's, uh, they're um, getting time for them to start driving and stuff. In my area where I live at, we have a lot of cars and there's can't park too much other cars in the area. So my nephew, ha they had to move and neighbors were complaining. I don't want to start no problems. So my sister had to move and she bought her own house now and her and her husband got their own house now. And I'm happy for my sister. She deserves it. She worked very hard and she's got her own house now to finally call her own. My brother moved out. My little nephew's moved out. And um, if you can relate to me and relate to what I'm going through, um, please comment at the bottom and let me know. You know, maybe you can help me uh, get through what I'm going through, you know. Um, so my sister ended up uh, moving out, uh, and I've been, and then, um, uh, I had some women in my life I've been dating in the past, and things didn't work out between us two, you know, um, it's not that, it's not that, uh, you know, I was a problem, or it's just, when you're dating somebody in your life, and, you know, I don't choose to put who I date in my life on camera, or what I go through with them on camera, some, some, if they're willing to show, if they're willing to see, you know, if they're willing to put, put will be willing to want to be on camera, I can show you who I'm dating, who who it is, or what I go through with them on a daily basis. I don't want to mention their names or put their names out there like this on camera. Certain girls I've been dating in the past, two of them didn't work out, and you know, all at once in one month, the uh, a girl I was talking to didn't work out. A girl, I, another girl, I ended up really getting kind of serious with, but then didn't turn out to be not all there, <laughs> not to sound rude. And then um, my sister moving out and then, you know, just all at once hit me. All at once, you, you know, it's like how I tell you guys in the day when you feel like you're on a mountaintop and you have it all, and then it just, you come crumbling down and you feel like you have, you just hit rock bottom hard. I It all came at me at once, all that situation. And I fell off the mountaintop and I hit rock bottom, but I hit rock bottom with a depression a real bad depression, not to a depression to where I went to stress eating, not to a depression where I went to, to where I, f where I felt like, you know, um, I needed to stress eat. No, I still, I, I'm, I'm depressed, but not depressed to where it's real bad, not to where it's real bad to where I'm going to stress eat or, or do something bad. I love working out. I love the healthy lifestyle I'm living. So that's a part of my life now. So I make that a part of my life every day to maintain my body, to make, keep it the way I need it to be. As hard as I work to get to where I'm at now in my body, I work 10 times even harder to maintain it and keep it the way I want to. So it wasn't a type of stress to where I'm that, I know I'm not that depressed, but I'm, I'm depressed with sadness in my life because I lost my, I felt like I lost my sister. You know, my sister moved. She didn't move that far to where I can't not go see her, but it's just, I'm sad, you know? Uh, I've, I've been, I helped her raise, I helped her raise my nephews since they were kids and to see them grow up as adults. Now I know that time was going to come for them to leave, but just the missing the thought of having them here in my house and here with me, you know, this is a big old house. It's like, it's like my mansion. I love it. And I have my parents now, my parents always been with me and I always take care of them. And it's, and I, they, they took care of me for so many years. So it's my turn as an adult to always take care of them and, and be there for them. But me, at the time when she was here, I never thought, you know, when I always come home, I didn't, I didn't care because when I came home, I had my sister here and her family, you know, I came home every day. I was coming home to a big loud house with my family, everybody being up in here, you know, and I knew I can hear my nephews in the house and whatever they're doing, I'm, I'm, I, they're there, you know, I hear my sister doing whatever she did with her husband. They were there, you know, every time I came home and I talked to my sister, we had our brother and sister time where we would sit down and talk and, you know, do things and I could spend time with my nephews and do things. And to now when I come home, I could like, I come home to an empty house where they're not here. And it's, it's sad because it's like, I, 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 I wish they were still here, you know, 
And it's hard because I've been going through that type of depression. And it's like, I don't want to, it's not that I don't want to film. It's not that I don't want to entertain. I just haven't felt like myself. You know, I haven't felt like myself to where I want to do YouTube. Where I want to like, it's not that I want to quit. And I, I don't want to quit. I love entertaining you guys. You guys are my family. You guys are what keeps me going. You guys are what makes J Sneaker Squad. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it weren't for you guys. But at the end of the day, it's just, it's hard because for me, it's like, I haven't felt like myself lately. I haven't felt like the real Jason Nick Squad I need to be. And I'd rather be 100% really me straight up with you guys instead of being, instead of being um, a, a, like not my, feeling like not myself to, to perform for you guys. And it's like, it's not fair to, it's not fair to y'all. And it's not fair to me to give y'all the 100% of full Jason Nick Squad, which is me. And I've just been going through that depression and I'm trying my best to get back to to being me. It's like I've been telling my boys and my friends, I'm trying to find my mojo. <laughs> if you think of Austin Powers and you think of the movie where he said, I lost my mojo. I'm trying to get my mojo back. Your boy, Jay Stinker Squad, is trying to get his mojo back. And it's not my mojo. I'm just trying to get like my, my, my grind, my daily grind, my daily hustle. I'm trying to get me back. I'm trying to get me to be in 100% so I can come on here and bring you the content that you love to see out of me which is Jay's Nigga Squad. And I want to be 110% to perform for you guys, which is me. And I just been going through a tough time. Like I said, it's it's been a, a tough time of depression for me and I'm trying my best to get through it. I'm tackling, I'm not trying to tackle it all at once. I'm trying to take it all one day at a time and, and, and see how I go so I can perform. I know when I know to do YouTube, when you're a YouTuber like me and you do YouTube, you have to be consistent every day, every day with videos nonstop, bringing them out every day to be the be better at your craft and to be the, the entertainer that you choose to be on YouTube. And right now with me going through this situation, it's really hard for me because I can't, I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to perform how I want to you for you guys 110% to be the me. And it's because I'm, 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 I'm going through this type of emotions that I can't control and I'm trying my best daily by day to to deal learn how to deal with it and learn how to cope with it and the more and more it comes at the more and more I'm dealing with it day by day I'm getting better at it little by little it's taking time but at the end of the day once I think I get it all once I think I get a hold on control a whole fully control on it I can be 100% the real me and I'll bring you out. I promise you guys, them bangers are coming. And just give me time. I'm not promising. I'm not asking for a lot of time because I know I don't want to be gone for too long. And then y'all are going to forget about your boy. And I don't want that to happen. But I'm trying my best. And I, I, I promised you guys a video. And I got one out today for you guys. And I thank God for Johnny Fitness for coming through with me um, so we can get it out for you guys. Um, after this video, me and Johnny Fitness... Are going, I'm going to do another video workout video maybe Saturday at his gym. So I'm trying my best to get that out for you guys Saturday. If not Saturday, maybe Sunday. And then uh, WrestleMania weekend this Sunday, I will be kicking it with my pops and we'll be watching WrestleMania. I'm not going to, I'm going to probably try to do a little video, let you guys update on the ma matches, which is going on. And I'll show, we'll show, try to show some highlights a little bit of the matches for WrestleMania weekend. So deal with your boy. I'm really excited about that. Sorry, trying to replenish my water when I sweat out in the sauna. <laughs> and um, we're going to get that that um, that video coming out for you guys pretty soon. So, like I said again, deep down from the bottom of my heart, I'm really sorry, guys. I haven't. It's not that I haven't forgot about you guys. I love you guys. You, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I wouldn't be Jay Snickers going for one for you guys. I just, I've been going through a little bit of depression. I'm trying my best to cope with it and to to learn how to grab a hold of it and maintain it the right way so I can learn how to cope with it and be the real Jay Snicker Squad that I need to be for you guys and bring out them bangers and videos. If anybody in this life has gone through that type of depression like I have been going through and maybe they know how to cope with it to be to get a hold of it, to get better, you know, to get feel like yourself. Because I haven't been feeling like myself lately when I've been going through this. You know, I just, I'm really feeling like I, I lost my family but at the end of the day it's I know they're there and I can see them anytime I want it's just 
the thought of missing them here in my house every day. And I'm trying to learn how to cope with uh, being on my own without them here, you know. I got my parents here regardless, but they're they're old. They're elderly people and they go to bed really early. So um, by the time I get home, by the time I go to I go to work every day at our shift, by the time I get out of work and go home and I go to the gym and then work out and then come home and eat my meal, they're already in bed. So I'm coming home to a big old empty quiet house. And I just miss the sound of my family. But like I said, if any of you guys uh and then all, all, like I said, all the problems I explained to you guys going through it in my life has just hit me all at once. And I'm trying my best to learn how to cope, grab a hold of it and cope with it better. It's getting better little by little, day by day. It's taking time. But like I said, again, I'm very sorry for you guys in the long run for not filming. It's not fair to you guys. And I, I just got to, I'm really excited today because today was the first day, the biggest step I took of learning how to deal with it a little bit better and getting a video out for you guys. And I will try my best this weekend and this whole week of getting feeling like myself again and bring out them bangers for you guys. Jay Stinker Squad is slowly, slowly getting better with it and slowly is going to be coming back with more and more videos for you guys, I promise you. The podcast, I got to start buying the mics pretty soon. I'm going to start doing some test runs and then we're going to get that shit rocking and rolling. The mer As for the merch, I got to get with the uh, designer girl, Lee, uh, 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 Caitlin, and we're going to go ahead and start getting ready to get that shit out for you guys too. I just, I know I've been promising you guys all this stuff and I haven't been coming with it lately but I, it's because what I've been going through, but I got to get back on my grind and get back on the maintaining it for you guys. And I'm really sorry, like I said, again, if I haven't been doing it, but um, just to let you guys know, I hope you guys enjoy the Goals Gym Fitness video workout video. Um, this is the first video I have put out in a long time. So I hope you guys do like it. If you watch the video, I did break a record today in shoulder shrugs with Johnny. Uh, Johnny uh, usually lifts for, uh, four, four forty-five plates, and we did uh, four sets of fifty, uh, twenty, four sets of twenty, and uh, I shoulder shrugged. Start off with forty-fives, one forty-five, then I went to two forty-fives, three forty-fives, and the one you'll see in the video, I do four of them, and I did three, three of them, three just shrugs, one, two, three, because that was my first time ever doing four forty-fives. Johnny usually does it like nothing, but I mean, for me to just do it for the first time, it was really amazing and so i broke a record today so i was really excited to get four of those and three of those shrugs in of, of four sets of 45 i was really excited so it was a new record i did today so i'm really excited um all in all it was great uh i'm so i'm, I'm thanking you guys for those of you guys who are who are you know who you are who i talked to about the situation i've been going through my boys at work and then like hugo jake and christian and and I just want to say thank you guys for being there and, you know, for for helping me through this and, and being there and, and listening to what I what I was going through. And for my cousin, my prima, my cousin, thank you again for everything. I would I know how where I'd be without you, too. And my cut, my boy, B, my brother, B, my manager, James. Uh, and, uh, you know, all you, uh, my cousin, Johnny Fitness and my cousin, Big Mike. Thank you. All of y'all. And JR, especially my my homeboy JR, I love you a lot. I love you all very much. Thank you for all y'all's concerns and prayers and for for helping me through this situation I'm going through. Um, I'm slowly working my way back. I thank you guys very much for all the love and support. I hope y'all like this video. This is your boy Jay Sneaker Squad, man. Uh, trying my best to get back on the daily grind. Trying my best to get through this depression I'm going through. I will be back on the grind. We'll be bringing you guys in bangers again. Um, this is a little workout video. I hope you guys like it. Um, try my best to make, bring a little comeback, but we're working on it. Um, but I will promise you guys uh, WrestleMania weekend this weekend and another workout video with me and Johnny. I am going axe, axe, axe throwing with my brother Axel um, Sunday. So if I can get a video of that with my cousin Johnny, it's going to be a banger. I love it. And I'll try my best to bring that for you guys. More video content coming up this week. If I'm, I, I am feeling a little bit better your boy jay sneaker squad is trying his best this week if i if i'm feeling how i know i'm gonna feel i promise maybe and i'm telling you maybe three more videos of, of this week but this is your boy jay sneaker squad i love you guys i'm slowly working my way back to the grind thank you for all the prayers and concerns i love you guys um if you like this video don't forget to subscribe 
don't please click the thumbs up while you subscribe. Ring that little bell for notifications to let you guys know when I do post up another video. This is your boy, Jay Snicker Squad. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to stay motivated. Stay positive. Through them tough, tough days, man. Every day when you go through a tough day like I'm going like I've have been going through. Always stay, I would never give up on yourself. Keep fighting for them tough days. Because at the end of the day, when you go to bed, you wake up the next morning, you're gonna look yourself in that mirror and say, Did you go give it 110%? Did you give it all you had? When you fill off that mountaintop, you gotta pick yourself back up, which I'm doing now. Dust yourself off, which I'm doing now. Look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, it's a tough time. It's not, I'm not going to give up on myself. It's not the end of the world. Keep pushing, man. Keep pushing through them tough days. Because at the end of the day, you want to be that W winner. There ain't no losers on this team. Hard work and dedication, man. Get in the gym. Live the healthy lifestyle. Better yourself. Boy, Jason, subscribe. Peace. Love you.